I spent $1 for these 10 items. Let's see how much I'm gonna make. Hi there, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I've got 10 items that I got from the Goodwill Outlet. These are all breakable items. At my Goodwill Outlet store, you can get up to 20 items for $2. And so I always try to make sure that I max that out by getting those 20 items. So with that being said, half of that would be 10 items for a dollar. So that's what I'm sharing with you today. I wanted to do 10 items today because I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into my process for pricing. I get a lot of questions about how I decide on the prices for the items that I am showing you and what I'm gonna be listing them for. So I thought I would take each item and talk you through my process for coming up with a price that I'm gonna put on it. If you're new here, welcome. I'd love to have you subscribe. Go over there and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when I put out new videos. The first of my 10 items is a Christmas ornament and this one reads instant happiness just add Christmas and it is from the brand Our Name is Mud. Initially when I looked it up I didn't find a whole lot of its name wait Our Name is Mud ornaments and then I noticed that there was a designer name on there, Lori Vizi, and that helped a little bit, but there still were not a ton of Christmas ornaments like this one. So I was a bit hesitant. Um, I'll show you my research, but generally when I'm looking at Christmas ornaments, I like to find ones that are figural or things that are collectors things that people collect to put on their tree. This one is really happy and you know and all that so I've really got to figure out uh, a good way to to title this to make sure that the right buyer finds it for the price that I want to sell it for. So my first search that I did I did just our name is mud Christmas ornament just to see what I could find and and I didn't find a whole lot so they, they're more known for their mugs, as you can see. So I tried another search. Our name is Mud Christmas Ornament, and then Lori Vizi, who is the, the artist. And there were a couple others. There was one that's like a flat one, a few flat ones here, $19, $11. There weren't any that were round like mine. Um, so let's see what else I looked. Looked at, that is. Oh, that's the next item. Okay. So... With that being said, I am thinking, I have to think about who's going to buy this and who's going to search for it. What are they going to search for? Is there really a big enough market for me to put Our Name is Mud in the title? I will definitely put it in my item descriptors down down um, underneath the, you know, where you put the size of the item and the brand and da 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 da. I'll make sure to put that there. But I'm not sure that I want to use Our Name is Mud in the title. Tell me what you think about that. Because it looks like most of the people who are buying Our Name is Mud stuff, it's like the, the mugs and things like that. So I think that I need to find words for people that are big Christmas collectors, like Christmas lover ornament or things like that. Um, and then the artist's name might be something good to put in there. If not, then certainly in the item description. So I might have to do a little more digging on my own to figure out if there is a better way to title this ornament to make sure that it's found by the right buyer. Because I think I can probably sell it for about $17. That's what I'm trying for. My next one is another ornament. There's a couple ornaments here. And this one is glorious, darlings. It is a cloisonne ornament. It is huge. It's got a Santa on a house, and there's a snowman, and there's snow on the roof. Big three-dimensional piece. It is an ornament, but it could very easily be used as just like shelf decor. And I did find that there was one on worth point <laughs> which I don't have um, so I'm not quite sure what it sold for on worth point it just has so many really awesome details that uh, I'm really pretty excited about it I love 
you know, this, the roof, the snow. I mean, it has really cool, cool details. There's the bottom. And then I saw there was one that it sold on Poshmark a while back, but there was no, it was already gone. It wasn't available to, to view anymore. So let me show you what I, my research and my thought process for, for how I'm going to price my item. So my first search was a Google search, Cloisonne Santa House Ornament. And as you can see, there's quite a few different things that have popped up. Some of them are way, way lower, like this star Santa ornament, which is not a price that I'm going to be pricing near on this one. Um, and then you see others that's like this Santa one that's $60. So kind of all over the place there. But I'm looking at the quality. I'm looking at the intricate of the ornament so that's another thing I'm going off of when I'm when I'm looking for my prices so here I found one in the image search this one was on Poshmark here and I just noticed that it says raspberry holiday um, and that's something I did not add in my search so that's something else I'll need to come back and take a look at when we get done so I'll have to go back and look up raspberry holiday and find out a little bit more about that brand as well so here's the one from worth point you can see that it has a Dillard's collectible tag on it so what I'm thinking is that I'm gonna put sixty dollars on this ornament I'm going off of one the what I saw over here uh, with this Dillard's trim setter clothes in a Santa knowing that this is also a Dillard's one um, I'm probably gonna line it up in that same vein and I wanted to share some of the clothes in a ornaments that have sold for me just recently um, this is one that's just a regular ball ornament that was probably from the 12 days of Christmas and it sold for $25 this next one is just a little bell ornament that sold for 18 and then this one is a cat, and this one's a Laurel Birch, and it sold for $60. So now I want to price it even higher. So um, I, yeah, so initially I thought maybe around 60 bucks, but the more I think about it, the more I think about how ornate it is and how it's just awesome. I may end up trying to price it a little bit higher and then set that price where I will ex won't accept anything lower than sixty dollars because yeah we'll find out I'll I'll see I'll probably have get a friend to look up the worth point one for me and see how much that one sold for and then go from there but probably maybe I'll list it for closer to eighty dollars and then um, say the lowest I'll take is sixty just realized there was something else behind this. I was looking at this. We're going to pull that out too in a second here. I was looking to show you this next item and I realized in there there was a bunch of stuff here. I'll show you like that. And I was like, wait a minute. There's something else in there. So we'll pull it out and look at it together. Surprise. Okay. <laughs> I love a good surprise. So this item, I'll straighten it out in its frame, is a, it was glass, so it counted as one of my items. And I didn't know too much about it. I just thought it was a cute Christmas print. Um, it's a transformation of a Christmas tree into a Santa. And the artist is E. Halsey, which is new for me. But um, it's apparently an artist that is fairly well known. So it was easy to find information about their artwork. So first I did a Google search just to see if I could find anything out about the artist and I, know, I saw wow there's a lot out there which is awesome and then I did a search for Christmas art and I didn't find my same exact one but I found one that was on Etsy and then when I clicked on it I can see down here that it said $25 and then when I clicked on it, it was sold. So I went to Flipper Tools and I checked the price and sure enough, it did sell for that $25. <clears throat> then I looked at eBay and I saw a few other items that sold from the same artist. And they're kind of all over the place, but I see some that are still in that $20 range. So likely I will list mine for $25 as well. All right, now. It's another surprise. You're kidding me. Okay, so we're gonna pull this out and see what it is. Hang on, got that put back together. This is what was in there. It is a just a little picture of a, an old timey house. 
that was an antique store. How fun is that? It's not like a print or anything. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. When I look at the bottom part down there, I can see a signature on the other side. It says something else. I'll look it up. It's a cute little picture, though. Anyway, so <laughs> this art I'm going to list for about $25. $30. So next up I have a mug. I have a couple mugs today. This one again I tried to make sure that I get those 20 items for the $2 um, because I just want to get the most bang for my buck and this was a mug that I thought okay well I'll go ahead and get this Campbell soup mug and meh, it is not really worth that much. I'll be lucky if I get maybe 10 or 15 not even 15. I'll be lucky if I get 10 or 11 dollars for it. Uh, let me show you. This one was from 2004. So I searched here, Campbell's mm, Good Soup 2004. I see one up on Bonanza for four dollars and 54 cents. And I'm looking at here at, I think these are sold on, yep, yeah, these are sold on eBay. And again, I'm finding some in this similar style range for about five or six dollars. I don't know that I'm going to list it if it's only that amount. I try to make sure that when I list stuff that it's at least at least at least $10 to start so I can make sure to get at least a $5 profit even if I end up lowering the price over time. But when I see that it's already starting so low, it makes me a little hesitant. But I mean, I might just go ahead and just throw caution to the wind and list it for 10 or $11 and see if somebody comes along and thinks, hey, that one must be better, it's priced higher, and they buy it. <laughs> I don't know, that, that uh, what is it, um, perceived value, that's it. <laughs> so possibly I'll go ahead and list it for 10 or $11 and hope, hope for the best. <laughs> All right, we're lousy with Christmas ornaments today, y'all. So I've got this blown glass cat ornament. And this one was a no-brainer for me because there are cat people out there. If they've got a white cat, this one looks like it might be even a white tabby cat. Ooh. So if you have a white tabby cat, this one is right up your alley because it's got some little stripes, some green eyes. All right. So, yeah, I got this one for sure because I know there are cat lovers out there that will pay good money for cat ornaments or cat anything, honestly. So my first search was for blown glass white cat ornaments, and this is what came up. As you can see, the prices are anywhere from $8 to $40, and it really kind of depends on the quality and the, I don't know, and just the way it looks. But truly, I think when it comes to things like this, collectibles and ornaments and the there's a specific buyer for your item and if somebody is looking for a white tabby cat or a white cat with green eyes ornament they're gonna want the one they want right so even if I see all of these and I'm like oh but that one that's forty dollars is the one I really want it doesn't matter that there's cheaper ones they're all different but oh that that Siamese one is the one that really speaks to me and I'm willing to pay the eighteen dollars even though I see there's that eight dollar one. It, it's really more personal and visceral. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Like if somebody's like, that's that's the one I want. I like the look of that one. Because they're all so different. So it it really is an emotional purchase. So it doesn't really matter um, if they if they see the one they want, they're gonna pay if they can afford it, they're gonna pay for the one they want. So here are some eBay sold. As you can see, there are some that sold for $14 up to $42. So I will probably list this little kitty. Originally I said 15, but I think I've convinced myself to do closer to $20 on it. Because it's so cute. Yep, so probably around 20 bucks for this little kitty cat. I could not find my next item. It is a really nice cross. It is cut glass on the inside. It's all cut into it. It's really, really pretty. It's got a very heavy metal frame around it. It's very well made. It's really nice. And like I said, super heavy. So I wonder if it's more, no, I don't think it's crystal. No, um, but it, it is, like I say, it's heavy. And the metal is pretty heavy duty on it, this frame. 
And I, again, I couldn't find one just like it. So from there, uh, let me show you the research I did and the price I decided to put on this really nice glass and metal cross ornament. I did a Google search, heavy glass, gold, metal, cross Christmas ornament, and this is what came up. So I'm seeing some anywhere from 13 to 54. Now, mine is not as ornate as the $54 one, but I see some others that are, you know, okay. Mine is pretty cool. And again, here I go <laughs> thinking I'm gonna raise my price from what I initially thought I would do. Initially, I thought maybe I'll put 15 to $21, somewhere in that range on it. But I think now the more I look at it, the more unique it is, the more I think I'll probably price it higher, um, closer to the $30 range, because it really is a very nice piece. It's not just some, um, just by holding it, I can tell it's not just some cheapy, like cheaply made cross ornament or ornament in general. It's pretty heavy duty. So I'm thinking I'll probably price it closer to the $30 range. All right, mug life. <laughs> I got this Minnie Mouse mug. It's pink, it's got Minnie, it says Minnie Mouse on the back, and yes, it's got a little chip back there, but I don't think it's going to detract too much from the price. This one is a Jerry Lee mug, and so let's take a look at the Jerry Lee Disney Minnie Mouse mugs that are up there. So here are the mugs I am seeing. Uh, these ones are sold and I'm seeing anywhere from $9 up to $15, $17. What I'm not seeing is this particular one in pink with her face just straight on. It's just her happy face. So I'm thinking I'm going to list her for $17.99 and then take a best offer, you know, put it where I'll take an offer of 16 and then no lower than 14 or $15. So that is what I think I'm gonna put on this mug. And again, luckily the little chip is towards the back. So if you're looking at Minnie and you're enjoying your coffee in the morning, you won't have to worry too much about seeing that chip in the back. My next item is a snow globe. And I have not picked up too many snow globes lately because I haven't seen many that have been in really good shape. This one's actually missing a bit of water, but some of the ones I've been finding lately are really missing water or the water is like off colored or something. But this one looks pretty good and it plays Hark the Herald Angel Sings. I would wind it up, but sometimes they take a little while to unwind and stop playing. So this snow globe, musical snow globe, I didn't find this same exact one. I did a search for snow globes and Hark the Herald Angel Sing, and most of the ones that I found are selling for between $20 and $25. So I thought that that would be a really good price for the one that I have as well. So I'm probably gonna put about $20 on this snow globe. Next up, I got this really big glass ornament, and I didn't realize what it was until I started searching, and it's mercury glass, which is pretty cool. I don't know a whole lot about it. So from the others that are listed that are almost exactly like mine, it's the same style, the same coloring and everything. It's something I need to look up a little bit more. But, and, and um, I have another one, not exactly like this, but it'll be in the, the next haul like this one, because I was trying to break them apart. But this one, it's pretty big. It would either be for, I mean, I don't know, would you hang it on a tree outside with it being glass like this? I don't even know. I guess I'll leave that to the interior decorators um, for what they would do with this. But anyway, let's go and see. So I see one here that's a Pottery Barn silver mercury glass ornament that sold for $34. I think more mine is more magnificent than that one. It's really cool. It's got this really cool design. It's larger than that one. So just scrolling through the vintage solds, I'm seeing more, you know, around $20, 40 or so dollars. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to put at least $40 on this ornament, if if not more. I might search a little bit more because it's so big and cool. I think I could really get more for it. The shape is really nice. The 
The finishing is really cool. At the top, it's got this ring that you could hang it from also. I don't know. I really think 40 would probably be a base <laughs> on that one, but I might, I might end up going higher. It's just really a cool piece. Next up is another frame, and this one, again, I'm trying to be a little pickier about the frames I get. I really liked the, the frame part on this frame. It was really intricate and cool, the silver tone with it. I didn't find one just like it, but let me so, show you what I searched to help me figure out what kind of price I would put on it. So my search, first I searched Google. I did ornate silver tone frame four by six, because that's the size of it. And I'm seeing prices that are for, for sale. I mean, for anywhere from $12 all the way up to 245. But yeah, that one's sterling silver. And then when I came over to look at eBay, I'm seeing prices more like 10 to 20 dollars some even lower but i won't likely go lower than 10 or so dollars so i will probably put 20 dollars on this frame and then put best offer on it but i think it's a pretty cool frame i can get some nice pictures of it up close i think it'll do pretty well so i think 20 bucks is a good a good price for that one there was no name on it or anything like that so We'll just see. We'll see how it goes. And my last item is this really humongous Bambi vase. So it's got Bambi and Thumper and Flower and Bambi's girlfriend. I don't know her name. Hello. I can hear an echo. I feel like I could, I could hear the ocean. Uh, anyway, so this is from the Disney store. And it's really big. I just can't imagine seeing something like this in the Disney store, but hey, I don't know. Anyway, I only saw one like it up there, and it's on Etsy. So, perk for me, I can list it on multiple sites, not just Etsy, and then maybe get more eyes on it and ask a little bit more. So, let's take a peek. So, on eBay, I found all kinds of Bambi stuff and Bambi vases but not this Disney store Bambi vase. And the thing with collectors, it's like my mom, she collects Alice in Wonderland. So if I find something like this, that's different, I really do keep hearing myself in it, um, then, you know, it's something she doesn't have. So it'd be a, a nice gift to get for somebody who collects Bambi stuff. This is something that's pretty scarce because I've only seen one like it out there. So I can ask a little bit more for the Bambi base. So I'm probably going to list it for around $35, $40. The one that I do see that is on Etsy is up for $24. It is originally $30 on their, on their page, um, but it's on sale. So I'll probably list mine higher um, for a few reasons. One, it's something that's you don't. I'm not seeing a whole lot of. It's the only one other one out there that I'm seeing. So if somebody buys that, there's only one left. And if you want that for your mom's birthday present, then you're willing to pay thirty, forty dollars for it. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Also, maybe somebody doesn't look on Etsy and they only look on eBay then mine will be the only one there. So you have to look at it that way too. Is what you have scarce enough? And is there a big enough collector base that you can can name your price? So that's what I'm gonna do. I feel like along the way, I kind of wiggled my prices around. So originally I thought I was gonna maybe make $250 and then it was closer to $300. And then now I just realized I didn't have that in my spreadsheet. So now it's like, $340. So I, I think I'm going to do okay with these items. Once I get them listed, once they get sold, I have a feeling that I'll make at least 300 bucks on the stuff that I've got here. Go over there and let me know how I did. I love to hear your feedback. Leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, however you felt like I did, and leave me a comment. And I will talk to you on the next one. Everybody stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.